Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks, we are back playing Subnautica and as you can see we are in my very very purple sea moth, which name is Bob, and we keep getting slapped by fish, yeah, particularly orange blue eyed fish, and we're actually in here for a reason, we're actually heading towards, look, look watch him, watch him, he's like, oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to get you, so yeah, I'm going towards this geological formation over here which is about 205 meters away, Yes, I started the game slightly earlier. Ooh, I want that. What is that? As long as those fish stay away from me. Okay, let's get out of here and uh, I want to see what that is. If that's anything interesting, it might be cool. Propulsion cannon fragment. I'm pretty sure I've already got propulsion cannon fragments. Okay, cool. Um, something else I've been doing. Look, by the way, oh yeah, we named it. We named it. The winning name was simply Bob. More people said Bob than anything else, so the ship's now called Bob. Right, anyway, yeah. Geological formation. We'll go back to this big tower thing over here. Let's see what the hell this was. Well, now uh, there's a couple of uh, reef bags there, so yeah, that's all good. Uh, but we're going to exit my Seamoth just out. We're actually going to have a little look around, see what we can find. See if there's anything different around here to see what it was it was actually trying to show me. Seems to be some sort of sharky thing after me. Uh, let's get my thing out. Let's uh, scan this thing. Cyclops hull fragment. There we go. Let's see if there's any more fish or anything we can scan. Down there, I don't. The hell? Hey, hey! Bloody thing. Right, anyway, yeah. So, we're gonna get out of the way of those little bastards. Don't know what the hell they want from me, but. Reginald! Reginald! Keep me. I want a Reginald. I want to take a Reginald with me. I've got a speed fish. Right, 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 right. Those things really don't like me being here. So, yeah, something else I discovered from watching some other folks' videos just to see if there was anything cool I could check out was the fact that you have a debug console. So, I don't really want to use it too much, but I do want to use it to build up my base a little bit more. But I kind of want to make a base over at the floaty island. So that's exactly what we're going to do this time. We're going to head over to the floaty island and we're going to build a base. Hello, pal. How's it going? Yes. Um, in fact, no, we're going to go back to Boaty McBoatface. We're going to make some improvements to Boaty McBoatface because that's that's really what we should do. That's our main base. I, I'm kind of reluctant to move away from there just yet because we can get everywhere from here. And that's fine. Um, something else to be searching for is... Um, Fragments of the giant submarine. I've got a few of them so far, but I don't have enough to actually make the submarine So I'll be doing that at a later date Lots and lots of floaty So many floaters making floaty rocks of floatiness over there uh, Of course, we've got the usual jittery bits here So just call it jittery bit jittery. That's the one uh, So one of the, one of, one of the things I want to... Ooh, I killed something there. One of the things I want to try out as the no cost one because like I said um, I want to try and do some stuff to my base and if I use no cost I should be able to build a shit ton of stuff without having to farm everything constantly will that take away the enjoyment of the game? I don't know maybe it'll give me some more time to explore who can see who can see well I can not give me more time to explore but I really want to just you know build up my base quite a bit more make it look a lot more beautiful so I've actually started doing some stuff to it which I'm going to show you guys in a moment once we head into the little moon pool here I've protected my base from the, the badness of the moon pool the fact that it's actually underwater I've got to make sure that no fishies can actually get in here there we go we're charging up quite nicely here so yeah I've got my bulkhead here so that's going to help me out I love Bulkhead. Bulkhead. Is that not the name of a Transformer? I'm pretty sure that's the name of a Transformer. So yeah. Yeah, Bulkheads. I've also got some signs so I don't go lose my own place. I've replaced some of the roof panels with glass so I can see what time of day it is without having to actually go outside. Uh, if we go up here, and my office just looks awesome. There's no need for any other description of it other than awesome. Uh, my observatory. I've extended the walkway to my observatory and I've added some more spotlights to it uh, simply because I can. Uh, it's further out so we can see further around. Although the sea is looking a little bit cloudy today. 
as you can see there's a lot more foundation to it as well so that things don't just fall to pieces uh, aquarium seem to be doing okay you guys all right in there yeah good okay good so we're gonna head to the way out which is this way I've got a garden over there and everything as well but I want to show you guys we've got some more lockers in here I've got stinkiest Pete's locker I've got dapper paper bags locker as you know in Mongo Oh, sorry, is that right? Mimong? Yeah, Mimong. I can never pronounce people's names properly. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here, but we're going to try this debug sheet here, um, which is no cost. I just want to see what it does. I'm not going to use this constantly. I just want to try it out today. Um, resources. Everything is available to us. Everything. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? Synthetic fibers, benzene, hydrochloric acid. We can make whatever the hell we want. Let's see, O2 tank, fins, radiation suit, reinforced dye suit, still suit, first aid kit, rebreather, pipe, compass, thermometer. Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff here we can make. I don't know why. <gasps> terraformer. Did we make a terraformer? I may have already made a terraformer. Pretty sure I might have. Um, current generator, sea glide, and all that. Uh, let's just jump, just glitter. Let's just check. Uh, oh, yeah, I picked up a spade fish. I'll drop that off outside in a wee while. Uh, we didn't make a terraformer. We'll make a terraformer later on. But right now, I want to go outside. I want to build stuff. Let's uh, release this little speed fish out here just now because it doesn't really need to do anything. So that's fine. So yeah, taking a look around. As you can see, I've reinforced my hull quite a bit. Spent a hell of a lot of time farming stuff. Found out I didn't actually need to. Ooh, and I discovered something actually inside this little wreckage here, which I, I well, really never thought to actually check it. So I'm just going to show you guys in a minute. Yeah, come on, pull it open. That's it. That's a buggy. Okay, through here. There is signs of humanity on this wreckage. Check this out, seriously. I could have been the other way there. Look. There's a picture of a lady. Possibly a gentleman with nice hair, who knows. But there's also some notes here, but I can't pick them up. So I don't know exactly what they're for. But other than that, yeah, it's fine. Um, so I'm just going to keep an eye on my oxygen. The only thing I really know about, like I said, is the no-cost one. So we're going to work on that. For the moment. Uh, there we go. So we're going to work at a base a little bit, we're going to make some like new rooms and things like that. I may do some extensions to my aquariums. Uh, let's see, okay. No, it's number four. Okay, um, let's build another... Yeah, another multi-purpose room on top of that. Okay, just like that. And what I want to do is I want to build a, a hatch going into it. So I could actually build an extension onto the aquarium for my other fish, my big fish. I'm pretty sure this is my big fish one. Yes it is, okay. Look, look at that, because you could actually stand on top of it. Well, slide along it gently, as the case may be. Uh, so we're going to build that extension just now, bear with me. Here we go, nice big extension for you guys, so you got a little bit more room to swim about. Okay, you guys fine with that? That right, cool? Alright, good. Okay, because so, now we can get out of this door. I am stuck in this room. Ah, there we go. Let's get rid of that door. Bye bye hatch. And off it goes. Yes, lovely. So everything looks fine just now. I mean everything looks great as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, I really want to start, you know, build it a little bit more. And uh, make it a bit more to the, the actual whole thing. Make it a little bit more um, habitable. Habitable? Habitable. I can't even see the word. Make it cooler. That's the one. I want to make this place cooler. I want to make this place, you know, safe and secure from everything. So what all have we got here? We've got the min pool, we've got the water filtration machine, large aquarium, bulkhead, vertical connectors that don't do fuck all since I've tried them out. Ladders, glass corridors, glass corridor, one purpose room, window, X corridor, T corridor, L corridor. Okay, so we're, we're going to build, maybe build an X corridor going from one of these areas here. Um, I'm going to build a corridor here. Let's see, just a normal corridor, going from there, okay, and we're going to carve that round here with glass corridor, let's see, we're going to do this this way, nice glass corridor, 
and we're going to extend that glass corridor out a little bit. Where are we? More glass corridors. Here we go. Yay. So it's actually a lot more helpful, but like I said, I'm only going to use it this once just to see how it works out. Can we... Can we can we curve that all the way around and just bring it into the other side? Right, let's get some more oxygen going here. I don't want to get killed by anything. I really hope nothing's going to come out and try and eat me. Um, if we... Oh, you're right, okay. Okay, right. If we... Um, okay, that's right. Right, that one there. Bring this one out. Put that there. And then we can extend this round that way. And then we extend it around again the other way. Oh, God. This is going to look amazing. Amazing. That's it. Okay. Right, now we just get the glass corridor sections. Oops, that way. And all it is is just a walk around the moon pool. Doesn't do anything. No reason for it, I just want to do it. That's all I want, you know? Just for the hell of it, just for fun. I mean, isn't that what this game's supposed to be about? You're supposed to have fun with it? Yeah, one more extension out, I think. There we go. And then we'll do uh There we are. Like that. Come down here a bit. There. Okay, we've still got plenty of oxygen left going on with us, so just extend this across here. Come on, come on. Oh, go, go, go there, go there. That's it, that's it. Right, we're gonna need to head back up to the surface to get some more oxygen. Yes, I know, I know. We need oxygen, whatever. Seriously, it's been one of those kind of days. Computers just tell me what to do constantly. It's like, oh, whatever. Alright, uh, okay. More glass corridor. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Why must it insist on trying to go sideways? It's not a sideways corridor. Okay, another one. Right there. Okay. We get another one here. Like so. We get a little connector cor corner there. And an extra one of the long ones. Like that. See, now we just got this lovely walkway that just goes all the way around for no reason other than I wanted to. So we're going to head inside just now because it's night time. See what that takes us. Um, and let's go and check out Bob Docked. Yeah. Let's go and check out that new, brand new corridor I just made for no reason other than I felt like it. Let's close that door off. There we go. You see? Everything's fun. Everything's fine. Okay, now that's good, we get some of there, impose there, so the new corridor should be around here somewhere, I'm not entirely sure, observatory's over there, I fell through the, f I fell through the freaking floor, where did my corridor go, seriously where did my, where, where's my corridor? Oh, you've got to be joking me. Have I, have I actually got to remove part of the bulkhead in order to get to the corridor? Oh no, here it is. Is this it? No. Oh. Right, corridor's over there. Right, okay, I know what it is now. Ha <laughs> ha! I missed that one out completely there. I must have... Where... I don't even... I don't even know. I don't even know. I saw where, I saw where the corridor was. Hang on, we need to go back in here. Right, I need to go down here, Welcome I need to check this. 
Yeah, 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 welcome aboard, Captain. Whatever. Oh, you're not attached because... Of okay, right, right. Okay. Deconstruct that. Uh, deconstruct that. And I can reconstruct it, adding it to the corridor. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, right, if we go up here and we do that. Okay, uh, it's not that one really, it's uh, that one. So why is it not attaching onto that? Oh, I think I know why. I think it needs to attach onto that. I'm an idiot. I tried to attach a corridor onto a corridor that wouldn't attach to it. So, in essence, I'm an umpty. Now it'll work. So I just need to go to the other side because the other side is attached to nothing as well. So if we deconstruct that side and that one and this one and we try and attach it onto that side over there, that should work out a little bit better. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. God you and your 30 seconds of oxygen remaining, whatever man, seriously. It's like you don't want me to succeed, computer! Okay, right. So, now that we've worked out that issue, uh, we can turn that around, like so. And that's it. Okay, now we can actually go in and check this out. Holy shit, that took that took too long. That took far too long. You know, that's just the that's just the name of the game. Like I said, this isn't like normally something I would do, but I just figured, you know I wanted to do something with Subnautica today and I figured, you know, why not? And I, I want to do a little, couple of little home improvements to my ship, so why not that? So there we go, look, we've got a lovely walkway now. We can check everything out. Yeah, we can even go and look at the observatory, which is over there. We shouldn't really have to need to, but we do. Just, I don't know why. But yeah, there we go. Nice little corridor. Everything's interconnected now. I've stopped being so dumb about the whole thing, and everything's good. My aquarium is a little bit bigger, so they've got a lot more freedom to move around. What are you doing in there? You shouldn't be in there. Did you guys see that? There was a fish in here that shouldn't be in here. There you are. What are you doing in there? What did I just pick up? Rabbit Ray. Rabbit Ray shouldn't be in there. That should be somewhere else. It should be outside. Let's go outside. Said to my way out. Like I said, everything's in its place, so that's all good. Okay, Rabbit Ray, you should be. Ah, there you are. You should be out enjoying yourself. On you go, pal. It's fine. On you go. Go and enjoy yourself, man. Seriously. That's, that's so weird. Don't even understand why he was in there. I mean, I hadn't picked up any other eggs or anything. There's so much going on in this game that I don't get. I personally can't wait for the next update to see what comes out. So, basically you've seen me using that for the first and last time because I really want to What's this? Ooh, ooh, I want to see what this is. What are you? Okay. Ah. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, I may, probably should not be down here. Okay, well, let's go this way. Alrighty then. What are you? You're awesome. A dripping stinger. 
Nice. Uh, can I have you? No, you can kill me. Okay. Those things, those things are deadly. Okay, we don't, we don't touch those things. Those things are gonna kill you. Okay, so we need to find a way out of here. Dripping stick, dripping. St Holy. Okay, we're gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, we died. We died. Whatever. It's a good thing we weren't picking anything up, right? I'm gonna leave this episode here for today. Dripping stingers. They were awesome. Actually, I'm gonna very quickly just check what that was. So, okay, we'll go through the logs. Here we are now. Photo album, uh, data logs. Okay. Um, alien life forms. Is it fauna? Um, scavengers and parasites? No. No, it's not one of those. It's not one of those. Must. Oh, it must be flora. Right. Dripping singer it is. Zero photosynthetic, uh, zero photosynthetic cells detected implies carnivorous adaption to low light environments. Flora goes along the tentacles, capable of detecting contact with foreign bodies, triggering an electromagnetic charge in the 600 watt range. Prey is likely paralyzed and consumed over many weeks. Prey, small fish assessment, avoid. I think I will from here on forth. They're basically jellyfish, but with even less brains than what jellyfish don't even have. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. But until then, bye bye. Okay. Oh. Well, shit, how did we get out here? Can we actually jump this high? No. Can we? Oh, we can wall jump. Okay, wall jump. Wall jump. Wall jump. Wall jump. Wall jump. Oh, the big bag guy. No. Oh, my god. The fizz. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna die there.